From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA Late with incredible news and world exclusives again this weekend about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In this recording, we'll be cutting back to DC as one of the number one biggest names in DC tells a viewer of this channel she wants an MSC and she quotes the language of the house bill. OMG, Purple Hawks are ready to bounce. In the last few days, the world exclusives on this channel have included Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and Chris Coons and Santa Casey telling viewer after viewer after viewer they're doing an MSC. But now the big one came from AOC staff as well, telling a viewer thousand dollars a month after the first month for 12 months we'll have all the incredible details in this recording in a world exclusive you ain't hearing anywhere else but l8 then we cut to the first 645 pages of that reconciliation budget bill released checks of all kinds including hazard pay and checks for workers checks for seniors even four thousand dollars to care for a senior money for bikes vehicles cars and more i have all the incredible details in the first 645 pages of that recon then we go to cluster number two and cluster number three that pays checks everything from college students to money for seniors and money to, for workers. I have all the incredible deliciousness in that part of the recording as well. And then out of nowhere comes the big shocker as an additional three, $13 billion is landing in your cities, counties, and states. And guess what? The nonprofits are now paying viewers big money for rent, utility, food, internet, even refrigerators and furnaces. I have all the incredible details, starting with the world exclusive as AOC joins Coons, Casey, Warren, Sanders, and Schumer for the MFC Battleground. This is a big recording, and this is Afternoons LLX. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day, and thank you for joining me on this big weekend. I told you it was going to be a blockbuster, and we started the week with Coons and 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 Sanders saying they're going to be doing a stimulus check, but now we add Casey, AOC, and Warren. I have all the incredible details in this recording. Then we cut. This is world exclusive, folks. You ain't hearing this anywhere else but this channel. Then we cut to the big money that is in the first 645 pages of that reconciliation budget bill release. I'll go over all the money. Get that pen paper ready. You want to count? Take notes, Purple Hawks, because these are checks that are in the bill. Then we go to the second cluster of checks that are proposed to get them finished. And then the third cluster of the checks the president wants, they're getting in there as well. They just haven't written it up. I have all the deliciousness in that part of the recording. Then we cut to the big shocker as viewers are now getting big sums of money, not only from the state and cities and counties, but also the nonprofits with an additional $13 billion landing in your cities and counties and states. Guess where from? Department of Treasury. The exciting details in a jaw-dropping, massive recording, perhaps the most important one you've ever seen on a weekend, starts right now. And this is a light. America's only 24-hour day. Seven days a week financial news channel in America. Live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto and then Evenings L8 at 5 o'clock. Then we have shows at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 11.30 tonight. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. Thank you for the incredible one week of insane growth. We are doing numbers we have not seen in nearly three months of this channel. Why? Because the world exclusives are here. Because you are doing it, Purple Power. Subscribe right now and become part of this incredible community. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Let's start right now with the big shocker. AOC. New on this weekend. This comes in from viewer Paul. Viewer Paul says, Today I talked to representative for AOC, that is the famed House Democrat and Progressive, 
and spoke to her secretary and was told that according to her, the congresswoman wants to do a monthly stimulus check in the $3.5 trillion bill. She wants it to be $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for 12 months. And she assured me that she would add it to the bill. Take care. This is huge. This is the first House Democrat that viewers have heard from. The details continue to come on in. As yesterday, we heard that Senator Casey now joining the mix from Lorica. He's a S Senator Casey, Democrat on the Senate side. I spoke to Senator Casey's office. Lorica made the big passion plea for a stimulus check because remember, you need to make the passion plea. You need to advocate for it. She advocated for it and she got her back that yes, the senators are currently in negotiations for the stimulus checks. Then will. A big one. This is a big one that came in late yesterday. As Elizabeth Warren's at office said that they would do a stimulus check and then asked Will to advocate for what he thinks he sh it should be. He said, I think it should be like the American petition, which, by the way, is $2,000 a month. And this, they said they are on board with that. More about these details and what Sanders Schumer are telling viewers this channel it's only here on Ally, but let's cut to the big amount of checks, the other amount of checks, the first 645 pages of that reconciliation budget bill. What I'm going to show you is first the what the, those checks are, because the first 645 pages of what could be upwards of an 8,000-page bill has been released. All checks for the American people, all checks for you. Then we're going to go to cluster number two. These are the next pages that are likely to get into the bill. They haven't finished them yet. And then cluster number three, the next pages after that that will likely get into this potentially 8,000-page bill. All right, first, the first 645 pages. These items have been written up, and here are the checks. Broadly, let's go over them, and then specifically. Broadly, hazard pay, money for cars, money for vehicles, money for tending to the seniors, money for tending for the, out, for the children, $51,000 of MSCs over 18 years, and fixing up your home, and also money for college students. All right, let's go over the incredible details, starting with the hazard pay. Hazard pay is back on, baby, and not just in not just for a year or two, lifetime. Everything in for stimulus, I want to explain to you, has nothing to do with COVID. It's non-COVID related. So you do not have to have suffered anything from COVID to be eligible for these things under forced stimulus. All right, hazard pay. Essential worker, this is you. They're going to take third stimulus hazard pay and make it lifetime. What did third stimulus hazard pay do? It took the very old at tax code called the earned income tax credit, and it made it made modifications to it. Number one, they expanded the eligibility so more people would fall in the qualification for it. More people would qualify for it if they were essential workers. And then it increased the amount paid out annually a lot. But third stimulus is just temporary. And so what do they make under fourth stimulus? Lifetime. So if you're an essential worker and you are eligible, you are qualified for this earned income tax credit every year that you work as an essential worker within that zone of eligibility. Huge. A big shocker came with $4,000 a year if you care for the elderly. Where did this come from? Richard Neal, the head of the House Ways and Means Committee and one of the authors of this 645 pages. He put in their incredible vision that if you care for a, a senior, like you're a care provider, you can get up to $4,000 a year per person. Huge. And then if you care for the children, yes, you can get the same amount as well. How about $51,000 for MSCs over 18 years? Sound delicious? It is. They're going to take the child tax credit of the third stimulus package and make it a lifetime. This is huge. So if you are a, a parent of a child and that child was just newly born and that child and you live in a low-income household, every year that that household is low-income, you will qualify for this benefit. It is up to $300 a month every month for up to 18 years per child. So if you have two childs, two children, and you're in that household, you double it. That's $51,000 approximately per child over 18 years. Wow. Then how about money to fix your home? Yes, if you have a home in a low-income community, the federal government will give you new incentives under the first 645 pages to repair the home. How about money for college students? Yes. They're going to make the Pell's grant tax-free. They're going to give new grants to college students and other grants to the colleges that will give it to you as well. And coming up in cluster number two, I have more money for homes and I have more money for students as well. So stay with me for the cluster number two. 
What else is on the 645 pages? Well, how about a new vi- bike? How about a new car? How about a new truck? The federal government will pick, pick up part of the price tag. First, a new bike. For any purpose, whether it's pleasure or leisure or business, federal government will pick up 15% of the purchase price of a new electric bike. Then what about a new car? Yes. If you want it for personal use, the federal government will pick up the price tag of up to $7,500 of the purchase of a new electric vehicle from the major three volume manufacturers for you. $7,500 per vehicle. Now, if it's not a U.S. manufacturer, don't worry because the federal government's negotiating about those provisions as well. They hope to get that into this additionally. And then finally, if you want that car for business use or you want a truck, the federal government is including those provisions as well. Huge. And that's the first 645 pages of an upwards of 8,000 page reconciliation budget bill. What are these 645 pages? This is very important to understand. These 645 pages were agreed upon by the Democrats. Who are the negotiators? Democrats of Democrats. There are no Republican voters needed, no Republicans needed for the vote. It is Senate Democrats and House Democrats. How do they negotiate? On the phone, in person, having a cup of coffee, not on TV. Not on C-SPAN, not on the Senate floor, not on the House floor. They say, what do you think about $4,000 to care for the elderly per year? Uh, I like that. Yeah, I've looked at that. I like that. Go write it up. Okay, how about this one, the 15% for the bike? Yeah, that one's fine. Write it up. After they got enough items, they said, go write it up. These 645 pages are the items that were so easy for them to agree upon. They said, go write it up. In cluster number two, which I'm going to get to in just a second, I show you the next 12 checks, which includes money for uh, st- for education, money for uh, staying at home, uh, and up to $1,700 a week, and then money for more money for your home. That is cluster number two. These are items that they're talking about day in, day out, that everyone thinks they're going to get in there. And cluster number three checks are checks for seniors and also checks for workers. That's coming up in a second after that. But let's cut back to the big exciting news. I'm going to go broadly over it, and this is what we're doing here. It was upwards of seven weeks ago where I told viewers to pick up the phone and call their Democratic senators, and not a a lot of viewers did. But at the time, a longtime viewer of this channel, WR, did, and he picked up the phone and called Senator Chris Coons, Democrat, Delaware, and spoke to his staff and said, I want to advocate for a stimulus check. And Senator Chris Coons' staff said, yes, he will do a stimulus check. That was number one. Then... Three weeks ago, I'm going to go over that later in the video, but three weeks ago, Bernie Sanders' staff told Brother Joshua they will do a monthly stimulus check, $12,000 to $1,400 a month over three to six months. If the American viewers of this channel get behind Bernie Sanders, you have. That was number two. And then came the domino effect. Now we are up to nearly five major legislators who want to do this. Let's go over what happened and why it happened so quickly in all of less than five days. It happened with Donnie. He says, I called Cerny Bernie Sanders' office. And Donnie advocated. Remember, we we're about advocacy. Not asking, advocating. I called up Bernie Sanders' office and I said, we need it. Why my city needs it. I need it to progress. I need it for my water and everything I needed. And she said, they're doing a forced stimulus check. I told her that I need it. And she said, okay, they're doing it. That's Bernie Sanders office. Then Hurricane Tina picked up the phone and said, and called and advocated for it. And they told her they're doing it. Then came Carolyn Smith on Countdown LA, our our morning show, wrote this in the chat. I called Bernie Sanders office and I said, we need help. People are losing their homes. They need it. And she, and they need it for this and they're losing everything. She said, Bernie is putting in a stimmy. And then you took it to another level. Out of nowhere came Will, who called multiple offices, and here is what Will said. I spent the day yesterday calling around. I called Bernie's office, Warren and Schumer. That's three. And all three of them said they are doing it. I explained my situation, how a forcedless check would make a huge impact. Here is Will advocating for it. And I said why I need it. And they said, yes, it's happening. Elizabeth Warren's office asked me what kind of check would be sufficient. I explained, I like the American petition. And they said they're on board with it. Senator Sanders, Senator Warren is considering six to 12 months, $1,400 to $2,000. 
As Bonnie said in one of the live chats yesterday, when I saw Will's comment, I almost choked on my dinner. I couldn't believe it. But this is what viewers of this channel are doing. They are advocating. Lorica tells us that not only are they individually talking about it, but the senators are having meetings about it and negotiations. Senator Casey's office tells Lorica that Senator Casey is on is on a point to do a stimulus check. Moreover, they're negotiating on it now, the senators. And then comes AOC. As Paul says, he calls up Senator AOC's office, excuse me, Representative AOC's office, advocates for a stimulus check. Why Paul needs it? I need it because of this and what's happening in my family, my community. And they came back and they said they will be doing it at $2,000 the first month, $1,000 every half month thereafter for 12 months. And she's putting in the bill. And this is a world exclusive you are only hearing on this channel, which started with the world exclusive about Sandra Sanders, then continued to the world exclusive yesterday about Elizabeth Warren and Chuck Schumer and Senator Casey, and now today continues with another world exclusive with ALC. You have been doing incredible uh, God's work. Let's go to the second cluster of checks. You ready for this cluster of checks? 12 checks starting right now. Expansion of paid family and medical leave. Wow. What is paid family and medical leave? Paid family leave is if you have to stay home because, let's say, your spouse is pregnant. Paid medical leave, for example, is if you have to stay home because of something like your son broke his leg. And how does this work? Well, it pays a lot. Under third stimulus, they were proposing, proposing $1,700 a week if you made $70,000 or more per year. So let's split that in half. Let's say you make $35,000 a year. That would be $800 a week. Let's split it in half again. Let's say you make $15,000 a year. That would be $400 a week. Huge. Remember, four stimulus has nothing to do with COVID. So it's just the son broke the leg or the wife is pregnant. Huge payout. The money would go from the federal government to the employer and the employer would then pay you. Next, child care programs, more money for that, more money for tax code credits, more money for Medicare benefits and checks for seniors, like checks for dental, checks for vision, checks for hearing, and lowering the eligibility for Medicare. I'll have more about this in the third cluster of checks coming up in a second in this recording. Uh, weatherization of your home. I love that. It's when the purple hawks are flying above. <sighs> Yeah, weatherization at home refers to people who, for example, are in a tornado area or a fire prone area or a hurricane area. Well, weatherization of your home would provide more money from the federal government to provide for that weatherization. And this is on top of that money for your home under the first cluster. Then some money for education. They're going to have universal pre-kindergarten. So if you need to send that child to pre-kindergarten, you can, and the federal government will pick up the tab. And the next one I love. There's a lot of viewers who say, I understand what Elite's talking about. I, he just talks funny. What language is he talking? Well, guess what? You can go take what the world is LA talking about 101 at your local community college, part of my French, <laughs> and the federal government will pick up it, pick up the tab. There'll be tuition-free community college. You don't need to get a degree, just take that language class to translate my strange French. <laughs> <laughs> and there's more money in there, including money for green your manufacturing and more. Wow, it gets incredible great news. Also very exciting is the huge, shocking, developing detail that no one saw coming. I did not see this coming, and I usually have my radar up for everything. And this one shocked me. As Department of Treasury this week announced... Oh, by the way, I have an extra $13 billion for you. <laughs> Excuse me? The federal government's Department of Treasury, Janet Yellen, IRS, identified an extra $13 billion as landing in your cities, counties, and states right this week and next week for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance. This is huge. So if you reached out to any place for that money, third stimulus, and they said, we're out of money. I'm sorry. Our county's out of money. Our state's out of money. Our city's out of money. Guess what? Not anymore because an additional $13 billion is landing everywhere in every county, in every state. And this is a replenishing of funds. The federal government had initially given $48 billion to your states and counties, and now they're giving the remaining $13 billion. Treasury is happy to provide these states and local governments with additional money to support Americans in need of rental assistance. I'll have more about that and the big sums of money you can get for rent, utilities, food, internet, the big shocker of the nonprofits that are picking up items that we never knew 
exclude that they would pay for. Then we go over to cluster number three and then more about this world exclusive of what ALC is saying as well. It's a big afternoon. I'm so excited for you to join me. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as Afternoon's Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on a huge, huge afternoon to LA with so many world exclusives. I'm so excited you're joining me and I hope the weather is good where you are. Jump in the live chat and tell me where you're tuned in from and how the weather is. It's cold. It's cold here in Santa Monica, California. And guess what? There's just lots of checks in that second and third cluster. There is no electric vehicle, electric um, surfboard checks, but I'm very disappointed on that one. <laughs> there is no checks for Jaws, but there is just lots of checks in cluster number two and three. I'll go over the incredible detail of that in the second half of this recording. Then we cut back to this MSC, the big push from Casey, Warren, Sanders, and now AOC. Whoa, this is a world exclusive you only hear on this channel. Then we cut back to the big exciting details of this stimulus, which is just still heating up. And then we start first with a big Whopper of $13 billion land in your cities and counties and states for third stimulus. This is LA, America's only 24 hour day. Seven days a week, financial news channel in America, live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. Coming up next is a whole slot of programming. So subscribe. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that like button and become a member because you want to know all the big sums of money that is available under third stimulus, which I'm about to get to right now. The member link is underneath the video. Let's get to this big surprise that came out of nowhere. And the surprise came from the White House as it announced, hey, guess what? We got an extra $13 billion. I'm going to go over the big money you can get for rent, utilities, food, internet, mortgage assistance, and that right now. Get the pen, paper, and cell phone ready. First, let's go with some inspirational numbers because, wow, it's been a week with so much incredible details. We've had big success from D, who, uh, from Mike and D and Monica, and then Mark's neighbor got another $13,000, $33,000. Incredible. But I want to start first with Mark's brother-in-law because Mark's brother-in-law and viewer Jen from Wednesday show us how high these numbers are going. You are doing an incredible job, and we now realize these numbers are bigger than they ever were before. When we were talking about rent about a month ago, we were talking about $20,000 for rent. Now the rent is up to $40,000. Uh, Mark's uh, brother-in-law got in the high $30,000, and then Jen got $40,000 of rent. When we talk about utilities... Look at how it's moved so quickly. It was $5,000. Guess what Mark's brother-in-law got? $15,000. And then when we talk about SNAP, it was $5,000. Now Mark's brother-in-law got $21,000. And this is not an anomaly. 
people are getting these big sums of money every day on this channel. And it's to your day to get it right now. So get that pen paper ready. I'm going to give you some introductory remarks. First, I'm going to show you six places to reach out to. Reach out to all six of six. Number two, listen to the keywords I say in this video. And number three, I have some surprises of other places to get the money from as well. All right, here are the six places you reach out to to get the money. Reach out to all six. Here you go. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, State House Authority. Let's say it again. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, State House Authority. What you want to understand is that every place has different pots of money. So if one says no, reach out to the next. They also have different eligibility. And the keywords you want to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage utility assistance because of COVID. Now, this is one of the key things you're learning on this broadcast today is that city, county, and state that may have said to you before, sorry, we're out of money. Now, get that phone number off your phone and call them again and say, I have been told that Department of Treasury is sending out another $13 billion. Have you gotten the money yet? If they say no, say, can I be on the waiting list because I want to be first when the money lands? Or tell them when you can call back to get the update. They 100% will be getting the money. Number two, reach out to all your utility companies. So if you have five utility companies, reach out to all of them. Utility assistance because of COVID. Then the big surprise, the nonprofits. The nonprofits, which I brought back on this channel a few nights ago with the return, short-term, short-term return of Purple, our 1130 show, was a big success. Nonprofits were the companies of fall 2020 and early spring 2021 that were paying money for rent, utilities, food, internet, even household appliances, while the federal government was still waiting to send out their money. And I wasn't sure if they were still paying it. They are. So here are the five nonprofits. They are huge. They are paying money for a lot of things. Community Action, Catholic Charities, St. Vincent de Paul, United Way, Salvation Army. Let's say that again. Salvation Army, United Way, Community Action, Catholic Charities, St. Vincent de Paul. Now, what else are they picking up? One viewer got a brand new furnace. One viewer got a brand new stove, a brand new refrigerator. So they are doing things that we had never, ever anticipated. And as one viewer said, I picked up the photo I called United Way. The moment you started mentioning about them, I never thought of calling them. And they said, no one's called us for rent. I'm first in line. Thank you for that incredible information. There you go. Now let's get some money for SNAP. SNAP is money for food. You get from Department of Agriculture. How much does it pay? A fortune. Mark's brother-in-law got 21000 but guess what? Everyone is having a 25% increase a lifetime automatically starting in October. It's the new order from SNAP. So Mark's brother-in-law is going to $26,000. To make it very clear, you had an increase under two executive orders. You're going to get a letter that says that increase is over, but then you're going to get another letter that says you're getting a new increase. That increase is lifetime. Then, remember the unemployment benefits you are overpaid from your state? That's coming back from the federal due to the federal government's order. Average payment is $2,000 to $5,000. And then finally, the refund check from IRS that you paid 2020 taxes on the unemployment benefits. That's landing. Margaret got a cod, got a micro got it. Average payment is about $1,000 to $2,000. $2, you can track it on irs.gov 70% of the time. If you got in money for rent, utilities, food, or internet, or mortgage assistance, please post your success stories in live chat. Finally, will there be a fist stimulus check? There will be. Democrats represent they're putting it in there. And if you've not become a Purple Hawk, please do. The link is under the video, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. Daily, I deliver to you a breakdown of all the big money under first, second, and third stimulus to show you what this money is. And what I'm adding to the mix and adding to the daily announcements is the five nonprofits, because they are now paying out again, and also... A reminder about the holidays, of how to get holiday gifts. And finally, information about the $13 billion for the federal government so you know what it is, so when you call, you know exactly what you're asking for. And this is huge. And with that, we go into the final 15 minutes of this video, and we cut back to the big exciting details of cluster number three. Yes, this is the third cluster of checks, and these are the checks the president wants to get in there. And they are getting in there because of the president wants it. The president gets it. Let's go over all the incredible details of this third cluster starting right now. Checks for seniors and checks for workers, but we start with the free school meals for all checks. Checks for cheaper prescription medication. Checks for uh, for farmers, checks for free internet, checks for clean energy, checks for 
uh, workers, like independent contractors, and checks for seniors, like checks for dental, checks for vision, and checks for caring air care and lowering the eligibility for Medicare. Now, two of those checks are nearly or are automatic. What are they? The first one is internet. The way the federal government is going to do it is they're going to give fortunes to your local cities and counties so that they can run their own internet company. And so all you have to do is say, hey, I'm a resident here. Oh, you are? Here's the username and password for the Wi-Fi connection. Done. Prescription medication, literally, you don't have to do anything on this. This is very simple. You would go to the pharmacy, let's say on a Monday, pay. let's say you're paying $30 for a prescription. Then this becomes a law. Then the next week when you go to refill it, it could be as cheap as perhaps $10. A savings of $20 in your wallet. The federal government is negotiating lower rates for the prescription medications in the fourth stimulus recon. So what's important to understand is how these clusters happen. These aren't the only clusters. These aren't the only checks. These are the ones they've announced so far. And as they get everything agreed upon, as that, the, the, as the people say, I like it, go write it. The more they have to go write it, the more they write, and then it is the total bill, and that is called for a vote. But let's go to the big exciting news, which started nearly eight weeks ago, MSC. Democrats on both the Senate and the House side were saying they're giving you a stimulus check, whether it was the House bill or the Senate proposal, whether it was the American petition or the House Ways and Means Committee. You saw the detail on this channel. And over that time, we certainly endured people saying, I haven't heard anyone talk about it. There's been no mention of it. I said, have you, any, have you asked? You need to advocate for it. And that is what happened eight weeks ago. When a wonderful viewer, WR, picked up the phone and called, because I said to pick up the phone and call your Democratic senators. Not a lot of viewers did. Very few did. WR was one of the few that did. Picked up the call phone and called Senator Chris Coons, advocated for a stimulus check. I need it because. I need it because of my community, because of my family, because of what's going on in my town. I need it but because. And Senator Chris Coons, staffer, said, yes. The senator is doing a monthly stimulus check in the fourth stimulus recon. Huge. Democrat, Delaware, Joe Biden's oldest confidant, Chris Coons. Weeks progressed, and I had told you that one of the most important persons, persons in the negotiations is Bernie Sanders. He's the chairman of the Senate Banking Committee. He's the guy who actually got the price tag of $3.5 trillion. That was him. He went in asking for seven. He said $3.5 works. I get everything paid for. And I said he's very important to the equation. He became even more important when, three weeks ago, he spoke to broadcast media and said, unlike other budget chairmen of the Senate, I like to get out amongst the people when writing up a budget bill. I said, did you hear that? He's saying he wants to hear from you. He wants to get out amongst the people when he's writing. He wants to hear from you. I said, you need to advocate. Pick up the phone and advocate. And not a lot of viewers did either then. Margaret did, Lynn Glenn, and Brother Joshua did. And Brother Joshua Advocate. Now, let's go over what advocacy is. Advocacy is saying, I need it. And telling your story. Because legislators resonate to people telling their emotional, personal story. I need it because this is what's happening with my family, my community, my town, my church, my business. I got to tell you why this stimulus check would make such a big difference. Why a monthly stimulus check would make such a big difference. I need to tell you how I'm so in need of this. And this would really make a big difference in my community, my town. That is advocacy. Not advocacy is treating the senators like their FedEx tracking tools or UPS tracking tools. When, where, how, who, he, ha, who, ha. No, 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 no. You don't do that. You don't call up and just ask them lots of questions. They don't want to hear that. They want to hear you advocating because they advocate and they want you to advocate so they can get off the phone and say, wow, did you hear this message? This person really explained the real massive need he needs for this MSC. And that's what Brother Joshua did. De uh, longtime viewer of this channel, Purple Hawk, and 2020 volunteer to the community page, picked up a phone and advocated and called Senator Bernie Sanders' staff, spoke to the staff, and said, I need a monthly stimulus check. And the response was yes. Senator Bernie Sanders will be putting it in there. Number one, it would be monthly. Great. Number two, it would run three to six months. Great. Number three, it would be 1000 to $1,400. Great. And that Bernie Sanders needs to know that he has your support. I said that that is a call to action, Purple Power, to pick up the phone and call every single Democrat, including Bernie Sanders, say, I have your support. Advocate for your stimulus check. And then the ball started rolling. You saw how everything changed on this channel 
five days ago, last Monday. It just started to change because people started telling their story and advocating. It started with Donnie, who said he picked up the phone and advocated. I called Bernie Sanders' office and I said, I need it. This is why I need it. My city needs it. I need it to progress. I need it for my water. I told everything. I called and his secretary said, yes, they're doing a forced stimulus check. And I told her and she said, yes, it's okay. They're doing a forced stimulus check. The advocacy continued with Hurricane Tina saying, I called Bernie Sanders' office, I advocated, and they said they're doing a forced stimulus check. Then it continued with Caroline Smith on Countdown LA every day at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on this channel. Really great advocacy by Caroline. I called up Bernie Sanders' office and talked to his secretary and told her we needed help out there. People are losing their homes and what they got, they're losing. And she said she agrees. And Bernie is also putting a stimulus check in there. It continued av advocacy after advocacy. Even Yaya picked up the phone and called Ron Wyden's office, who also, Ron Wyden also has written that he wants us to do a stimulus check. And his office said they will do the SS200 in the force stimulus recon. And then came the incredible tsunami of achievement from Will yesterday. Will says, I spent the day calling around and I called Senator Bernie Sanders' office, Elizabeth Warren's office, and Chuck Schumer's office. He called three senators' office to advocate for a stimulus check. And all three secretaries confirmed they're doing it. I explained my situation. So Will advocated his situation and how a forced stimulus check would make a huge impact. Great job, Will, advocating for why he needs it. And I was told yes by all three offices, Schumer, Warren and Sanders, they're doing it and that's happening. Then he goes in incredible detail about what Elizabeth Warren exp staff has explained. This is world exclusive. You're only hearing on Afternoons L Light. Elizabeth Warren's office asked me what kind of check I would be sufficient. And I explained I like the American petition. And they said they're on board with that. The senator said Warren is considering $1,400 to $2,000 six to 12 months. When I delivered that first, Bonnie in one of the live chats said, I almost choked on my food when I heard that. I couldn't believe the incredible news. Then Lorica, her message is huge because of the last few words. I also got off the phone with Senator Casey's office. Finally, he's on the committee for aging. He's pushing for a lot of money for elderly and disabled. And the girl I talked to said, yes, they're in negotiations now for the amount of the stimulus. They're in the negotiations right now. And then out of nowhere came Paul. Paul picked up the phone and did what I said, because over the last two days, I said, if you've called, over the last two days, I said, if you've called Bernie Sanders' office, now make the own other calls. I said, now advocate with Warren, Elizabeth Warren, Chuck Schumer, Ron Wyden, and AOC, and Jala Paul. If you made one call and it felt really good, then advocate at another office as well. Because the more they hear it, then they say, I got, I'm got. i getting the phone calls as well. Uh, Liz, Liz, did you get these phone calls about uh, uh, these phone calls from Purple Power? Yeah, I'm getting phone calls as well. People really want, I'm getting, my phone is off the hook. That is what you want. They want, you want them to be talking about this. And that's what Paul did. He picked up the phone, he called AOC's office. And I spoke to her and her secretary said that according to her, the Congresswoman, she wants to add a monthly stimulus check in there. She wants it to be a $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, which will be 12 months. That's the House bill. And she assured me that it's going to get added to the bill. Take care. Wow. Incredible. Again, advocacy. Advocacy. I need it. You need it. And this is huge. The AOC equation is really quite fascinating because let me sh explain to you another world exclusive you're on this channel. Over the last three, four months, I had told you that my reporting is indicating exclusively that the House Democrats are writing, are authoring the actual legislation. We learned last week that I was correct again, that the House Democrats are actually writing it. So when the House said, when Senate and House Democrats say, go write it, it's the House Democrats that actually write it. But which body is going to vote first, House or Senate? I'm also in a world exclusive reporting that I believe the House will vote first. This is huge because the Senate wants to go last, and there's a lot of senators now you see that want to give you lots of relief. Let's understand, when the House gets the bill on the House floor, 
if everything is fine, the House Democrats will prove it. Now, this is interesting. If you look at it and let's say AOC thinks, no, it's not robust enough, she will approach Nancy, who's very, very close with AOC and the whole, and the whole group there, and may modify the language and beef it up. Democrats in the House have no problems beefing up numbers. So if AOC wants more money, they can get more money on the House side. Then if it goes over to the Senate, if AOC has already beefed it up enough, beefed it up enough, then Warren Sanders and Whitey don't have to do anything. It's done for them. If if it, for some reason it still needs to be fixed, this is huge because you want the senators to go last. The senators have a two-day voterama, and during that two-day voterama, they can make changes to whatever is given to them from the House Democrats. Now, because Democrats are Democrats, the Senate Democrats are not going to take anything out. They're going to either add something in there or increase something across the board. This is huge. Final fist stimulus. Will they be doing fist stimulus? Yes, that starts in September, out to a vote by about November, December. And this raises your benefits up if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, SSA, or multiple beneficiaries. First step is they'll raise your benefits up, then they'll apply a new benchmark. Then they'll uh, remove the asset cap, remove the income cap, and remove the marriage penalty. A lot of details and a big recording. Let's recap. Third stimulus, another $13 billion going out to your cities, counties, and states for rent, utilities, food, internet. Get this money right now. And if you got this money, let's say, you know, through September, then go back to them and get money through January. Also, understand that the utilities, take it as far in the future as you can, and get that money for SNAP. Fifth stimulus, heating up, out for a vote by about November, raise your benefits up for next year. Then the core of meat and potatoes, four stimulus. The first 645 pages of the reconciliation budget bill written, and they are incredible. They are incredible. Two more clusters at least to write. There could be a lot more clusters beyond that. And when those are written, a lot of checks for you. Checks for seniors, checks for workers, all those checks get into the next pages. Again, we only have 645 pages of what could be upwards of an 8,000-page bill to write. And then finally, advocate. Pick up the phone because you're changing uh, you're changing the landscape. You're making history. You are personally making history. That is why this, this channel and this family has been on fire since last Monday. Casey, Coons, Warren, Sanders, AOC, make the push. Again, that's Coons, Casey, Warren, Sanders, AOC, make the push. Make your voice heard. And then I look forward to seeing you all throughout the day. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. Evening's LA at 5 o'clock. And then we go into our new programming blocks. A new show every hour on the hour until midnight. 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11.30. Shows upon the hour on the hour. And with that, subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Thank you for the big one week, our biggest week nearly three months. Let's keep it going. This morning started off absolutely insane. Morning's countdown, the numbers were just through the roof. So let's keep it do staying here. There's a lot of world exclusives still coming in all weekend long. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes. Tell your friends to come on over. Tell your friends to watch this channel. Consider becoming a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP, and sign up for those LA alerts. A link is in the description. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.